dear students i am dr basavaraj uh, professor and head department of mathematics bapuji institute of engineering and technology daungire i am uh, going to discuss uh, the part of the mathematics that is module 5 in 18 mat 31 that is vtu syllabus under uh, uh, vtu e shikshana program that is program number 4 and this module consists of transform calculus fourier series and numerical techniques this is what the title uh, subject code is 18 mat 31 transform calculus fourier series and numerical techniques this module 1 to 5 uh, consists of these details of the syllabus but in module 5 i shall discuss only the topics on numerical solution of ordinary differential equations of second order and calculus of variations this is lecture number 1 and uh, i would like to discuss in brief what exactly we mean by a differential equation and how the uh, solution is going to be discussed uh, for solving the first order uh, first degree differential equation and second order differential equation which are all ordinary differential equations in these differential equations uh, various types of solutions we discuss one kind of solutions we discuss as analytical solutions where we get exact solutions and general solutions also and another method of solving uh, differential equations when we fail to solve by the analytical methods then we go for numerical techniques there is also another method that is called series uh, solution method so i shall uh, discuss the application of numerical uh, technique in order to solve second order differential equation and the formulation done by uh, that is runge kutta fourth order method and formulation done by uh, milnes predictor corrector method as per the vtu syllabus these two techniques we have to study under the numerical techniques in this 18 mat 31 for vtu e section of program i should start with the basics of this differential equation as all of you know the differential equation is one which con consists of the differential coefficients where the differential coefficients are uh, explaining the dependent variable in terms of uh, single independent variable and the dependent variable uh, in terms of more than single independent variable for example the differential equation when we consider uh, for the functional relation discussion then let y is equal to f of x this clearly explains here y is a dependent variable and x is independent variable so this is called function of only one independent variable then we call it as function of single independent variable the differential coefficients which we collect from this functional relation will be called as ordinary differential coefficients they are nothing but dy by dx d square y divided by dx square then our d cube y divided by dx cube and so on now these are only the differential coefficients we call them as successive differential coefficients this is first order this is second order this is third order like that and uh, these differential coefficients are having the derivative that is called d by dx this is indicated by capital d this is called linear differential operator where we use this linear differential operator in most of the cases to write the lengthier form of the differential equation into very simple form now we discuss we shall uh, uh, move on to the equation which contains these differential coefficients for example an equation like uh, x into d square y divided by dx square plus e to the power x it is dy by dx plus x square y d equal to 0 or not equal to zero so this is called an equation which contains the differential coefficients that is 
second order derivative first order derivative dependent variable and the independent variable this is called differential equation where we come across these differential equations uh, since we are uh, more concerned with the engineering uh, problems engineering problems arise in various branches of engineering for example in civil engineering we come across uh, the continuum mechanics that is uh, uh, ordinary differential equations and uh, partial differential equations that is also going to be occurred in fluid mechanics in civil engineering that is mechanical engineering even in chemical engineering when we start uh, studying the in the electrical engineering department that is electrical engine electrical and electronics engineering we come across differential equations of uh, uh, constant coefficients and uh, variable coefficients these differential uh, coefficients uh, will have to be uh, eliminated through writing the solution okay and so, so also in other branches also we come across differential equations where the differential coefficients arise in any physical situation then we need to solve that differential equation and then we need to take the solution an equation differential equation is one which consists of differential coefficients and the solution is one which is free from the differential coefficients but may be containing the arbitrary constants so this is uh, the differential equation of second order we call this is called ordinary differential equation in short form we write that is ordinary differential equations we call them as ode and uh, if this functional relation that is y is equal to f of x is consisting on the right side uh, inside the bracket more than one independent variable that is y is equal to f of x1 uh, x2 x3 and so on like that so this is restricted to single independent variable this is not restricted to single independent variable so this functional relation produces the differential coefficients of the type we call them as partial derivatives that is del y by del x1 at this time x2 x3 and all other symbols will be kept constants temporarily then del square y divided by del x1 square then del square y divided by del x1 del x2 and so on these are all called partial derivatives then these partial derivatives if we come across in the form of some equation then we call it as partial differential equation let me confine my discussion only to the ordinary differential equations these ordinary differential equations are nothing but function functional relation it is y is a function of x alone that means dependent variable is consisting of only one independent variable on the right side where we get the differential coefficients from such a relation as uh, uh, ordinary differential coefficients then an equation is called ordinary differential equation now how to solve these ordinary differential equations by analytical methods and uh, how uh, we have to solve by uh, numerical methods so analytical methods to solve these types of differential equations we have a number of methods that method will be the first one we call it as that is separation of variables wherever it is possible <coughs> sorry wherever it is possible uh, to separate the variables separate the variables means grouping x terms in one position and y terms in another position followed by the corresponding derivatives then we need to uh, separate the variables and then we can integrate and we get the solution what is the purpose of integration integration means to avoid the derivative to eliminate the derivative a solution is one which is free from derivatives then the next method if uh, separation of variables method does not work then we move on to whether it is of the type homogeneous or something else if it is homogeneous then you know that by the analytical method we introduce that is y is equal to vx and followed by dy is equal to v into dx plus x into dv like that and the next 
if it is not homogeneous whether it comes in the non homogeneous form or not whether it comes in the exact or not whether it comes in the non exact or not whether it comes in the variation of parameters whether it comes in the undetermined coefficients like that we discuss uh, we discuss so many methods in the analytical techniques if all these methods are not going to support us in order to write the solution of the differential equation then we move on to numerical method where the differential equation must contain the initial conditions those initial conditions followed by the given differential equation is called as initial value problem we see in a simple form we call ivp that is initial value problem so in the previous module that is module number 4 these initial value problems were discussed with the order of 1 that is first order ordinary differential equation but in this module 5 we discuss second order ordinary differential equations followed by initial conditions so what exactly the second order uh, differential equation then how these second order ordinary differential equations will be solved and what are the methods in this module 5 that i shall discuss now here uh, we have two methods that is numerical methods there are two methods in this one method we call it as ranya kutta four order method and second one is milgram's predictor character ranya kutta fourth order method and milgram's predictor character method in these two methods we consider second order differential equation along with the given initial conditions then we use those uh, initial conditions along with the second order uh, ordinary differential equation how this uh, ranya kutta method is going to be applied and how we consider the initial conditions and how the second order differential equation will be reduced to the first order differential equation and how the solution technique by ranya kutta method we have to discuss similarly milnes predictor character method this is called pc methods we call once we have to predict the value and afterwards we have to correct that value so that finally we call it as the corrected value and up to the desired degree of accuracy so we can repeat uh, the application of corrector formula step by step so that we can consider this milnes predictor corrector formula up to uh, desired degree of accuracy that means number of decimal places which we require that will be the final value which we can take Okay. Now I shall discuss the Ranya Kutta method uh, in the beginning. We, we shall consider the general differential equation. That general differential equation will be like this. consider a second order ordinary ordinary differential equation as d square y divided by dx square 
is equal to phi of x comma y it is dy by dx where initial conditions y at x naught is equal to y naught and another one y dash at x naught is equal to y naught dash we have two uh, initial conditions here and the condition is that means requirement is if it is a first order differential equation only one condition is sufficient because first order differential equation will have one arbitrary constant so that arbitrary constant can be calculated as a particular value by using this uh, one initial condition but here it is second order differential equation we must have two conditions two initial conditions so that this second order differential equation uh, will be uh, after after getting the solution of this second order differential equation in the explicit form then we will be getting in the solution final solution we will be getting two arbitrary constants those two arbitrary constants are to be uh, calculated by using these given two initial conditions this is what the general system the general system to apply this uh, range kutta method as well as milnes predictor character method for both the methods this is the procedure that means this is the general form of the differential equation we consider and we expect two initial conditions then we need to solve this differential equation by using these two initial conditions with the help of the given second order differential equation then uh, we consider the solution uh, by introducing uh, dy by dx is equal to some other dependent variable some other dependent variable that means we have to reduce this uh, second order differential equation into first order differential equation because first order differential equation range kutta formulas are already defined we make use of those uh, range kutta formula uh, uh, concept in order to solve this one uh, not for uh, uh, those formulas are not defined for second order those formulas are defined for first order that is second order so first order differential equation range kutta second order range kutta third order range kutta fourth order but here fourth order we consider because in order to announce the accuracy of the uh, solution of the numerical problem then we need to go for range kutta fourth order formula which is uh, uh, giving more accurate than second order range kutta method okay how this equation of the which is of the second order this equation will be reduced to the uh, first order so that you will be getting two sets of first order differential equations which are ordinary those two first order differential equations together we call them as uh, simultaneous differential equations those two simultaneous differential equations we have to solve by the given initial conditions as follows now <clears throat> we introduce for the first order derivative that is dy by dx equal to z so that what is dz by dx that is equal to d square z divided by uh, dz by dx is equal to d square y divided by dx square d square y divided by dx square after introducing this one into the first equation number 1 we can call this the system totally system as equation 1 if we call then this second order that is d square y divided by dx square will be reduced to dz by it is dx that is equal to phi r this is x comma y and then z then afterwards we have to take separately dy by dx is equal to z this is equal to
something like function of x comma y comma z. For convenience, we define this one as that is dy by dx is equal to this side we will be taking as f1 of x comma y comma z and this one I am going to take it as second function because this is the given one so I consider that is dy by dx as the first one then x comma y comma z so this is dz by dx one equation and dy by dx another equation but the initial conditions that is y at x naught z equal to y naught and here this is y dash at x naught means y dash is dy by dx so this this is called as that is z at x naught is equal to z naught because y naught dash can be taken as z naught so these two will act as initial conditions and these two will act as two first order differential equations <coughs> two first order differential equations we solve by <coughs> I'm sorry, making use of these given initial conditions and what, are, what is uh, the concept or method we write the solution by Renge Kutta method what are the equations we are going to propose to write Renge Kutta method because in the case of simultaneous differential equations we have the equations for Renge Kutta method then the, those simultaneous equations will have two sets of uh, solutions by Renge Kutta fourth order method what are those two sets of values we consider like uh, k1, k2, k3, k4 and for uh, another set of another equation set of four values l1, l2, l3, l4 those values are like this for the first one that means I call this one as equation 2 and this one as equation 3 then in 3 uh, in 2 first I will write because it is f1 in 2 it is dy by dx equal to f1 of x comma y comma z then what is the solution for this we write the solution solution by Rajakutta method by rk fourth order rk fourth order method we have we have that is y is equal to y naught plus k this is the simple equation where k is equal to 1 by 6 multiplied by k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4 these are the four values and what are these four values of k, k? that means k1 is what k2 is what and all that we have to write A1 is equal to h into f1 the function first function that is f1 of x0 y0 and z0 and k2 is equal to h into f1 of x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 comma comma that is uh, z naught z naught is there plus l1 by 2 l1 we will define later then k3 h into f1 of x naught plus h by 2 and y naught plus 
it is k2 by 2 and z0 plus it is l2 by 2 and k4 this is h into f for now x0 plus h and y0 plus k3 and z0 plus l3 these are the four formulas for k1 k2 k3 k4 we will include k by calculating using this equation which is contributed by rangel putta fourth order method then this y will be in terms of the next number this h h will be the spacing between two values because the initial condition for this differential equation initial condition is y at x0 is equal to y0 y at x0 is equal to y0 and z at x0 is equal to z0 what do you mean by x0 it is the first value next is x1 next is x2 next is x3 the space in between these two values is h and here also that is h that means x1 equal to x0 plus h and x2 is equal to x0 plus 2h otherwise x1 plus h and so on that goes like that okay that is next number is in terms of the previous number next number is in terms of the previous number likewise so if we go on adding this h will be the common spacing between these two points that is x0 and x1 difference is h x1 and x2 difference is h all these uh, discussions we are doing only for equal spacing values of x that means here this y takes the calculation that is y0 plus k at the first value that is x0 plus h x0 plus h means this is called y1 we call it as at x1 that means y1 at x1 is equal to y0 plus k by the rangel putta method for the first differential equation and what are these values that is l1 l2 l3 and l4 those these values will be calculated for another differential equation that means equation number 3 equation number 2 by 2 we have written all these details now equation number 3 i will write by 3 next by 3 equation number 3 we have it is dz by dx is equal to f2 of x y and z then the solution of rk fourth order method we have the solution step as that means we we have to write the solution for z in terms of x that means we call it as z we call it as z1 means z at x equal to x1 this is nothing but initial value of z and plus l we call there we called it as k but here we called it as l where l is equal to what we have to discuss where l is equal to 1 by 6 l1 plus 2 times l2 plus 2 times l3 plus so it is l4 uh, just like that we had uh, in uh, the previous set of formulas that is k1 k2 k3 k4 and here also we had l1 l2 l3 l4 then where these values of l you have to define they are similar type but the function is f2 that is l1 equal to h into f of that is f2 of x0 y0 and z0 next is l2 
that is h into f2 of x0 plus h uh, by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 where k1 is already calculated in the previous set and z0 plus l1 by 2. This l1 is to be collected by this equation. The function is it is an equation that is f1 and f2 there are two different equations. Next l3, l3 is equal to h into that is f, f2 of x0 plus h by 2 and y0 plus it is k1 by or uh, that is k2 by 2 because k2 already we have taken and z0 plus it is l2 divided by 2. Then what is last part? Then h into f2 of should be x0 plus h and y0 plus it is k3 and z0 plus it is l3. So these four formulas will be uh, separately defined for L1, L2, L3 and L4. After finding these four values, you calculate the value of L and substitute here to the initial value of Z0 to get the next value of Z that is called as Z1. So these are the uh, sets of uh, equations which are contributed by Rangiputta fourth order method. For the solution of second order differential equation that is ordinary differential equation second order then you need to calculate we need to calculate uh, the solution uh, step by step we can we need to calculate this is z1 means at x equal to x1 suppose i want to find out uh, for example like uh, Here x0, y0, uh, sorry, x, y, z. Here x0, y0, and z0. This is a given system, okay, along with uh, the second order differential equation. Now, suppose I want to find out at x1, x1 equal to what? x0 plus h. Then, if this is the value, for example, 0, x0 is 0, then at point 2, then at point 4. That means between these two is 0 0.2, the value of h. 0 0.2 we consider to take the value of h, that is a y value at x equal to x1. That means x0 plus h. Then x1 is equal to x0 plus h means 0 0.2. What is the value of y1 uh, as we discussed from the previous set of values and what is the value of z1 and here that is x2 equal to x1 plus h that means 0 0.2 plus h value that is 0 0.4 what is y2 what is z2 this is called step by step procedure for example this is z1 next if you want to calculate the uh, next set of values here all x0, y0, z0 wherever it is there you replace those values by the calculated values of x1, y1, z1 so that you will be getting z2 that is equal to z1 plus L like this. So one suffix we have to uh, make advancing one, uh, subs one unit subscript so that you will be getting in place of z1 you will be getting z2 in place of uh, 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 that is uh, y1 you will be getting it as y2. So likewise step by step you can go on improving and uh, uh, the value at which number it is asked so those number of steps you, you need to present and you need to use those number of terms you have to collect. So this is what uh, Rangiputta method 
and this is a very useful method this range kutta method is very useful in engineering uh, uh, situations that is engineering application problems where we come across these engineering problems uh, uh, especially in the form of differential equations where we, where we need to solve the differential equations those solutions uh, by the numerical methods we can go for comfortable solution okay now uh, what we have to take uh, the uh, necessary step in handling the solution of the problem using this range kutta method for example if you start writing the values all the values of k1 k2 k3 k4 and l1 l2 l3 l4 up to how many uh, number of decimal places sometimes the problem needs to write up to four decimal places sometimes the problem needs to uh, round off uh, up to third decimal place then depending on the uh, question depending on the situation depending on the requirement we need to round off the decimal place so that we can uh, give the correct uh, decimal place the required answer then what exactly uh, this range kutta method uh, takes the uh, a difference between the other methods that means how it is different from other methods for example uh, we start with the uh, taylor series in solving uh, these differential equations the very first uh, basic method is our uh, taylor series method in that taylor series method we get the solution in the form of some expression uh, that is dependent variable in terms of the independent variable there uh, input you can give any value and the corresponding output you can collect and the next method is called uh, picards method in that picards method also we get an expression uh, directly not like the table of uh, values not like these calculated values set of tab uh, you know uh, uh, the particular expression we are considering that expression will be in terms of x and y those x and y values we consider and then we write the solution and the next method we call it as euler's method and its modification this is range kutta method is the fourth method Ring, uh, earlier to this euler's method is there the first two methods which i mentioned taylor series method and uh, euler's uh, sorry picards method will give the solution of the differential equation in the form of an expression that expression contains the variables x and dependent variable y but in the case of euler's method ringe kutta method and uh, milnes method and adams predictor corrector method these four methods will give us set of tabulated values directly here that means you are not getting an equation by this solution you are getting what is the value of z1 at x equal to x1 what is the value of y1 at x equal to x1 likewise we are getting these values we are getting in terms of set of tabulated values therefore those set of tabulated values uh, can be directly taken for plotting the graph and then further interpretation of the physical situation of the uh, you know uh, 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 that particular application problem then how these values will play the major role for example if you want to enhance the accuracy if you want to increase the accuracy now uh, that is uh, zero between zero and zero point two that is h we are considering as zero point two that is only for uh, solving the problem if they get if the problem uh, includes the uh, question as take h is equal to point two then you you don't have any option then h equal to point two if they do not mention if the question does not include like h equal to point two only you have to consider uh, so that how best you can do that you can also go for zero between uh, find the value of z1 at x equal to x2 if the mention without mentioning the value of h then you can consider between zero 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 then in that way if you go for selection of the intermediate value then the answer which you are going to expect that will be far better than uh, this type of uh, uh, going from 0 to 0 0.2 and 0 to 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 that is only uh, uh, you can take the chance where uh, h value is not mentioned so that 
you can go for number of steps that means two sets of uh, uh, steps you have to write totally this is one uh, second set and case values are one set this second set but if you take 0 and 0.1 and 0.2 means totally four sets of these equations you have to use those four sets of equations if you use which are contributed by Runge Kutta method then uh, that will be far better than uh, uh, the directly when you are shifting from 0 to point here. So this is what uh, Runge Kutta method the theoretical uh, uh, details and we will use these formulas in solving the problem of the second order differential equation that is solution by second order uh, Runge Kutta method to so get the value of y1 and value of z1 at x is equal to x1. Let us solve an example in order to prove this theoretical concept. I will consider an example of second order differential equation to apply these Runge Kutta fourth order formulas. How these Runge Kutta fourth order formulas can be applied to get the solution of second order differential equation, we will see that. Uh, two or three problems I will solve on this, and a similar type of procedure you can apply for any other differential equation where we expect second order differential equation with the two initial conditions. Remember, uh, without initial conditions, we can't write the solution. Only that uh, type of solution will be written uh, as which is which becomes an incomplete solution. The question is like this: Solve d square y divided by dx square equal to x into dy by dx minus y with the initial conditions with the initial conditions y0 is equal to 3 y0 is equal to 3 and y dash 0 is equal to 0 to approximate y at 0.1, y at 0.1, okay, y0 equal to 3, this is the first initial condition and second initial condition y dash 0 is equal to 0 uh, to approximate this one by rk fourth order rk fourth order method. solution. <clears throat> First you take the given data given that given that this differential equation that we take by another symbol that is y double dash that makes no difference that is y dash and minus of y. This is y0 and y dash 0. Maybe you can consider like this y at x0 is equal to y at 0 equal to 3 and y dash at x0 is equal to you have to write y0 dash that is also 0. Then here this y0 y dash will be y dash that means dy by dx at x, x equal to x0 
Now, what is our main question here? How to uh, write the calculation values? That is x, y, and z. That is x naught, y naught, and z naught. Then x1, y1, and z1. What are these values? Now, what is x naught here? It is given 0. x naught equal to 0. Then y naught is also 0. And uh, sorry, y naught is 3. y naught is 3 and z naught is 0. This is the given data. Now you have to calculate at x1 is equal to x naught plus h. X naught